This video serves as an introduction to the 620M multi-myograph system. It's going to be a brief overview of the interface, chambers, and accessories that come with your system. For more detailed information, you can refer to the 620M user manual and user guide on our website. The interface is the base unit that houses the four individual chambers. The interface provides temperature control, gas bubbling, and vacuum removal of the waste. The front of the interface has the touchscreen and the waste removal buttons. The touchscreen is where you will make many of your changes to the system to change your temperature, your force sensitivity. You can make these changes with a couple touches, but we're not going to go into the menus in depth. You can find more information in the user manual on these menus. The four buttons on the front correspond to the four chambers for waste removal. You also have the option to remove all of the buffer in the system. The back of the interface has all the connections needed to fully utilize the system. There is a power supply and a power switch. There's a port for vacuum that you can connect to a vacuum source for buffer removal. There's an oxygen port that you can connect to a carbogen tank or any other mixture that you would like to use to bubble your chambers. Each chamber has a connection for the transducer cable as well as a needle valve to control the amount of bubbling in each chamber. There is an RX and TX light which indicate data communication. There's a USB output to pipe data directly to lab chart software. There are also four BNC cable outputs that you can use to connect with any data acquisition system you would like. There is a pH port for an optional pH probe to measure the real-time pH in your chambers as well as an RS-232 connection for factory diagnostics, a slot for a temperature probe, as well as a ground port to eliminate electrical noise. When looking at the chamber itself, you will notice there are two mounts in the tissue chamber. One mount is attached to a micropositioner or a micrometer. This is the side that moves. The second side is attached to a force transducer, which is very sensitive and you must be very careful when using this side. The force transducer housing is connected to a transducer cable, which will connect to your interface. There are also four screws. These are used for fine adjustments when using resistance vessels. There are a number of accessories that come with your system. These include a power supply, a calibration kit for maintaining the accuracy of the force transducer, a set of pins for larger rings such as aorta, Allen keys for chamber alignment adjustment, additional screws and screwdriver, a temperature probe, two kinds of grease for the linear slide and force transducer protection, a spool of 40 micron wire, chamber covers to keep the environment consistent in your chambers, a ball end screwdriver, and lastly funnels for refilling the buffer in your chambers. For more detailed information, please refer to the 620M user manual or additional instructional videos.